Google just released Opal. Opal is an AI tool that can create mini apps by simply just giving it a prompt. But Opal is different than any other tools. Opal does not write code. It has a different approach. It has a visual editor and you can customize your app using that visual editor. Opal uses different Google models to create these mini apps. So let's suppose if your app needs to generate an image, Opal will use Google's image generation models to generate those images for you. The only problem is Opal is right now available in US only. But I'm not based in US, I'm based in UK, but I still like used VPN to get access and test Opal. So if you're not based in US, you'll have to use VPN to access Opal, but just make sure that you do not open any other websites. So let's just dive deep and review Opal and see how Opal actually works. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, so to access Opal, you need to to go to opal.withgoogle.com so this is the url to access opal I, I have provided this url in description so you can just like click on that and access opal okay. so once you open this url before sign in just make sure that you are using vpn maybe something like browser or something like proton but just, just use any vpn after that simply just sign in using your google account and once you are signed in this is how it will look like and there are some like these demo apps that they have created using opal so let's just check out these apps so there is this blog post writer app so i can just click on that and let me just open that and see how it works these are the demo apps that google has created if you want to like create your own version of this app you can simply just click on this remix button and then remix these apps but here is the overall interface of this app so this is the front end interface and this is the workflow you can see all of these different steps uh, the first step is get topic you need to provide a topic and after that second step is do research in this step you can see this is the prompt research the topic of the blog post a well done research should be included so this is the prompt that is provided by us basically to this tool that okay you need to do this and we are using this gemini flash 2.0 you can switch i think this model as well from here if you just remix this app then you can just switch this model and use some other model the next step is write online and in this step there is examine the initial topic and research report summary come up with an outline for a blog post so again this is the instruction that is provided from us basically you can customize this instruction you can change this instruction and in fact this app creates a banner image as well you can totally customize this workflow and you can add your own steps and customize these templates or you can just like build something on from completely from scratch so all of this workflow is actually working on background to make this front end functional so you can simply just click on the start button and after that you can just like provide a blog topic maybe provide ai code editors press enter now it is going to do its research and right now you can see ai is doing its research again you can see this step is now working right now this in this workflow this step is functional it is working this is very similar to by the way nat so nat workflows you can see like whenever any workflow is running you can see on which step it is working right now and you can see right now it has just moved to this right outline and then from here now it has moved to this create banner image so it has just wrote that outline now it has just created this banner image now it is writing this post and the next step will be it will display that blog post so yeah i mean this is very simple for everyone to like generate these kind of like mini apps to like maybe automate your own like workflows and like create your own personal tools using using this tool so yeah this this is going to be super helpful for everyone and now it has finished all of these steps and this is our final blog and right now you can see our blog has been created in here this is the title this is the image of this blog and then this is the main content of this blog this is like proper well-written blog with a really professional image which is which is just amazing so you can just explore all of these different demo apps so let's just explore one more which is this fashion stylist so i can simply just click on that and now you can see it is going to open this fashion stylist so this app has these different like steps in this workflow the first one is get city let's start with the weather to make your outfit work with your location okay fine then there is getting weather report so this is actually your personal ai fashion stylist it has all of these different steps so it will first of all ask you which city you are in and after that it will get weather report create outfit description then it will display your results so yeah this is how this app looks like you can just like test this front end as well you can simply just click on start and now you can just like respond to its question so let's suppose you just built a mini app using google opal and now want to like publish this app so to publish this app or like to share it with others you can simply just click on this share app button and now you can simply just copy this link from here and now you can just like provide this link to anyone there is no option to use any custom domain so far but you can always use a custom domain and then redirect that domain to this url so yeah i mean this this way you can actually build your own mini app and then you can just launch this way so yeah this is kind of a very unique tool of its kind you can build your own small mini apps you can automate your day-to-day -day tasks using this app so i just go ahead and give it a try let me know in the comment section what you think about this app. I see you next video. Bye.